Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just wanted to tell you about a few cards that I've been running across and working with lately uh, with another buddy who together we've been coming up with some pretty crazy combos for. It's not a very popular card out of Kaldheim and it's called Maskwood Nexus. Uh, and the reason why I say it's not very popular is I don't see many people on Arena playing with it. Uh, there are very few people who I've seen utilize this card the way that it should be utilized. Um, basically, this card says creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. You can spend three and tap it to create a 2 2 blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. It is every creature type and it costs four mana. Okay. Now, when you use this card in conjunction with, say, the Bishop of Wings out of 2020 Corset. Uh, it says, whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. Whenever an angel you control dies, create a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying. Uh, now, for those of you that are life gain players and love to put a life ramp engine in your deck, uh, this is a great combo to work on. Uh, because instead of, you know, say a soul warden or an impassioned orator that's going to give you one life or you know, one life per turn, uh, whenever somebody plays something, uh, you get four. And whenever something dies, it automatically comes back as a 1-1 one, one white spirit token, which is very useful because anytime it comes back, it's also considered an angel, and you're getting another four life. Now, I built a deck around this combo a couple of times and didn't have much success with it until I started running up against a lot of aggro decks and if you play historic on arena you know that a uh, white aggro is really difficult to beat if you don't have the right cards to counteract it within the first five turns uh, specifically speaking a Johnny's pride mate well uh, the best way to use a Johnny's Pride Mate in this particular deck is to use a Johnny's Strength of the Pride. Now, what I did was combine the effects of the Maskwood Nexus, the Bishop of Wings, and a Johnny's Strength of the Pride second loyalty ability, which is to create an Johnny's Pride Mate token. Um, whenever it comes out onto the board, when you are playing the Bishop of Wings and the Mask with Nexus, it is a 2-2 Angel that grants you four life, uh, goes up a plus one, plus one counter every time you gain life, so it goes up to a 3-3 as soon as it comes out, and if it gets destroyed, it turns into a 1-1 one, one Spirit token that's also an Angel, which then gives you another four life. Now to complement this combo, I added Tesa Karlov, and uh, General's Enforcer, which gives Tesa uh, indestructible. And then I added Mortify to remove uh, unwanted adversaries and enchantments. Now, as you can see, two of the cards needed in the combo came up in the opening hand, so I'm not going to mulligan. Oh, and there's the bishop. Drop the bishop first. Play Swamp, General's Enforcer. And there's the Maskwood. Now normally I don't spend a lot of time playing with Sparky unless I'm playtesting a combo or making a video, and the reason why is because there's a high level of scooping on Arena. And to be truthful with you, I would rather show you the combo so that you can play with it and have fun than show you a video of people quitting. Uh, as you see right there, the general died. Maskwood Nexus then came into effect with the bishop and it created a 1-1 spirit token of fly. There's a Johnny. Now we're 
to create our pride mate. It's counted as an angel. Gives us a plus one, plus one counter. I am proud of Going to attack with the fire. Now, one of the strategies I've found for this particular deck is it's better to turn around and attack with as many token creatures as possible so that you can beef up your pride mates. Make as many pride mates as possible, attack with your mask wood uh, two twos, and block with your spirit tokens. And that's okay. That's going to die, and it's going to come right back. And it beeps up the pride mates. Another Johnny. Another four life. Gain more life. As you can see, we're on turn five or six, I believe, maybe seven, and I'm now sitting at 49 life. Block, block, die, die, four life. Creature, four life, creature, buff, buff. Now we're going to see some real stuff happen now that there's two bishops out. All we need is a Tesa, and then that'll double the bishop's abilities. Gain more life. Beeps up the pride mates. Die, die. Life, token, buff. Life, token, buff. As you can see, we're now sitting at 114 life compared to uh, Sparky 17, which again, this is not a hard feat to accomplish when you're playing against Sparky. It's a much different game when you play against a player, but for all intents and purposes to show you this combo, this seemed like a better idea. See the bishops going to town. And this will take a while. You'll even get 
the warning from Arena saying, please take a different path, or this game will end in a draw. Uh, because it just, it takes so long to render the effects. You know, see there, right there, the secret to that move is to uh, block with the spirits because every time they die, they just come back in mass, generating more life, which then buffs the Johnny's Pride Mate again and again and again. Now, here's an interesting addition. The in, uh, Indulging Patrician in a competitive game will become very useful because you won't even have to attack. Uh, whenever you gain more than four life, or more than three life, is it, per turn, uh, it'll do three points of damage to your opponent. So, all you have to do is put one creature on the board and it starts putting a timer on whoever you're playing against. And just to speed things along a little bit, I'll go ahead and attack again with the spirits. Now if I can pull that Tesa, all those spirits will gain lifelink and vigilance. Gain life, buff the pride mates, create a uh, creature with the maskwood nexus. Buff the pride mates again. We're at 245 life. Attack. Sacrifice, essentially. Make sure he dies. Comes back as an angel. Get four life. Buff the pride mates. Get four life, buff the pride mates. Etc. etc. Now this this trick would also work with any tribal deck, elves, vampires, anything that gets a plus one plus one uh would be beneficial with this combo because of the mask with Nexus. Um, this is just my simple 60 card deck that I've come up with uh, just for the purposes of explaining this this particular combo and in hopes of you know maybe people will start using this card a little bit more and we'll get to see it played. Who knows, who knows what kind of crazy combos people will come up with. Um, There you go, watch watch all these spirits die. Watch the effects. Sparky's gonna go up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen counters. But these pride mates. Uh, are about to go up at least 22 counters each.
And there we have our warning uh, from Arena letting us know that we need to take a different course of action. Um, of course, I've gotten that same warning while playing and experimenting with skewed decks, and I've never actually seen the game into the draw, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. Uh, I guess anything's possible. But we're almost to the end here, so we're going to go ahead and let it continue. Take a look at this, 485 life. And some ungodly pride mates, and there we get uh, exquisite blood. Buff again, just because we can. No need to attack because of the uh, indulging patrician. Put a second one out, just to speed this up, because I'm sure you all have something better to do, like go build a deck, or, you know, watch another video. Great Dune, 2-2, two, two. buff, gain life, buff again. Pride mate. Oh, yeah, and that's going to be the end of it. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch my really long and boring video. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. Please.